Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters. Welcome to another great segment of walking on the Ryerson Station State Park Warpath. And after today's great march for freedom and liberty and patriotism, I'm going to be at, hold on, I'm gonna get one more slow shot of this. Make sure this, this is a good scene, it be the first video. I'm going to be at 8,123 miles in five and a half years of marching for the troops and patriotism. As I mentioned in a couple videos before this, uh, I did a talk radio show. My mother has a uh, herb and vitamin store and uh, I used to be a steady voice on the show for her. So I have a lot of experience in talk radio. If anybody wants me to be a talk radio guest with them, I'm the best. Uh, Ed McMahon, is that, was that his name for Johnny Carson? I'm the best uh, sidekick you'd ever want. I'm a good sidekick. <laughs> but my mother uh, mentioned to me, Terry, there was a guy on CNN that walked 100 miles with the flag and they were so amazed. I was like, wow. <laughs> All those years I tried to get on TV the first couple years before I ran for Congress and they, they ignored me. I was so mad. It actually made me be determined to never stop walking. At the time I was just going to walk, you know, a couple flags. Every 500 miles I walk I give a flag to a unit that's been in the war. And uh, <laughs> uh, 17 flags later, 8,123 miles. I'm still walking and I'm never gonna stop. And I don't even wanna be on TV. They can, if uh, CNN or Fox News or, I don't wanna be on their mainstream media bullshit. I'd rather uh, one of these, uh, uh, one of these internet YouTube radio shows to call me and to be a guest. I'd be happy to be on the, the real news instead of the propaganda news of the mainstream media Obama and the bullshit he's got the right and he's got the left it makes me so mad that these people on the right they'd follow Sean Hannity over a cliff and trust me if uh, if they don't if the Republicans screw Ron Paul yeah I, I mean it the Republican Party is dead that I mean you get you people in the Republican Party better rethink your strategy because I know I'm right. And, uh, yeah. But anyways, the name of this video is about Timothy McVeigh and the Oklahoma City bombing. It, uh, the, they, as always, the champion of truth, Alex Jones, uh, had a video, had a couple videos. It's gonna be a blog, by the way. Every time you find my videos, there's a link to go right to my website uh, for the whole story. Basically, this is the introduction. I'm like, you know those cool shows like, you know, like, let's think, let's think of one of those, uh, I'm trying to think of, uh, like the Twilight Zone, things like that. You know, they had the guy, he introduces the show, and then... The main part of the show is Alex Jones and his videos and, and the truth is on my website. So uh, this is basically the introduction to tell you what the blog's all about. You go to the bottom and voila, Alex Jones, champion of truth. He has a, he had a guest on that uh, actually filmed Timothy McVeigh after he was supposedly out of the military. and. Uh, it just goes to show you how this government lies and covers up everything. He was working with, he was the patsy, just like in uh, the JF, JFK assassination, how um, the guy that shot John F. Kennedy uh, was a patsy too. So yeah, go check it out. Thanks for joining me. Pass my videos to your friends. And whenever you hear about a guy walking along the highway who has less than 8,000 miles, you know that's not me. <laughs> I'm a regular Johnny C for Johnny Appleseed for patriotism. I call myself a inspirational, a patriotic inspirational thought leader. I'm very proud of it. And like I said, 
mainstream media TV can kiss my ass. I'll never go on. And if Obama ever invited, if Obama ever invited me to the White House, that would be very bad because he's a treasonous, traitorous pig, and I'd punch him right in the freaking nose as soon as I'd be face to face with him, and I'd tell him to shove his fucking metal up his ass. I'll see you guys in the next video.